When you're running a custom t-shirt business, time is of the essence. The faster you can get the order out after the customer places the order, the better your business looks. So, stock is important. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Bates from T-Shirt Style so and I help people start t-shirt businesses from home. Where are we at? In this video, we're going to discuss how you can stock up on shirts and which shirts you should stock up on in order to get those orders out faster right after the intro. <laughs> the key to everything that we're doing and going over is to build things up gradually. So we already got our vinyls in stock. We buy five yard rolls, which means we can get up to 15 shirts out of each color. But now we don't have any shirts in stock to even get those orders out fast. So I'm going to tell you guys where I started at, what I started with, and then what I want to eventually build up to, especially now being in the storefront. So first and foremost, when I started my t-shirt business, I didn't want to get my orders out fast, and what I ended up having to do is buy some stock. I personally don't care what t-shirt brand you use, whichever one you feel comfortable with. When I started, it was Gildan 5000s, uh, pretty much on every order. Then I worked my way into the next levels of Bella Canvas, which I felt were interchangeable. And today I'm using these American Apparel 2001W, which I'm super, super a fan of. But like I said, it doesn't matter which brand you use, and you might have the right to change your mind later on based on the quality that you find, based on customer views, based on your own personal opinion, or based on pricing. So we're not going to get into the details of which brand is better and which, you know, everybody has their own opinion and it's really and truthfully personal preference. The only thing that I will say is I decided for my custom business to only give out premium quality t-shirts to give the customers a better feel. And then for other orders that are larger, or maybe they're uh, orders for like um, football teams or uh, companies work where they're gonna be doing a lot of wear and tear on the shirts, then I will go back to a gilding. Uh, or if somebody's just being quite honestly cheap, then I will go back to a cheaper shirt, which is like a gilding or, or a jersey or something like that. So I don't want you guys to get wrapped up in what branded t-shirt it is. But starting out, honestly, I kind of went with three of every size up to 2x okay so when i started what i did was i decided you know hey white and black orders i'm gonna have and be able to produce fast okay so i suggest you only stock up on white and black shirts unless we're gonna get to the unless later so white and black are the things that i'm gonna stock and starting out i decided to go with three of every size okay and that was up to 2x so three extra small three small, medium, large, extra large, all of that above. I decided to go with three of them. If you're using Gildan or Jersey, you're gonna have to go with a youth extra large to accommodate extra small. And these are unisex shirts. And if a customer wants a woman's shirt, at that point, I would just order woman's shirts for that order and it's gonna take a little bit longer. But at the same time, I would just usually suggest, hey, my shirts are unisex, so you can go a size down and it'll give you a better fit. Uh, and usually they're fine with that unless they're super particular, but then again, they still have to wait for that shirt to come in. And like I said, we're only going to do white and black. So now we're somewhere around, we got extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, 2X. So we're somewhere around 18 shirts. And now we're just going to see how it goes. You know, I personally will order extra larges, like you no know, extra size large shirts because I wear a size large and if I felt like I wanted to make something then I would just make it on one of those so I always wanted to have extra larges extra size large around you got to get very very particular with your sizing uh, even how you text it you know they want two extra larges and you misread that for two xls so I kind of actually make people this is good because this is on the on the fly a little bit but I make people say you know hey 2XL dash, and I'll send it to them. Small dash, medium dash, extra large dash. Like I would go through that list, copy it. I'm like, copy and put your sizes next to it. Just so that I am clear that you want two extra larges and not a two extra large shirts. I've made that mistake in the past. So this is something good that you guys can learn from uh, in this video, which really wasn't even planned. So now you started your business, you're out small, you know, you know, shirts don't cost that much if you're getting them from different places, but Again, like I said, we got six sizes that we're going to be covering, three of each size. You know, you're around 18 shirts in your business. 
but you slowly want to build that up, okay? You want to pay attention to which sizes are going out fast, okay? You want to work your way up to five of each size, 10 of each size. And in this store here right now, I'm going to try to have 15 to 20 of each size available because when I get those rest in peace orders and people need 10 larges, I want to be able to get them out fast. And, you know, on the weekends, you really don't have time to, you know, order more and get them in, or you'll be scrambling around going to Michael's and handing out different quality shirts. Like I said, I really like to give out a premium quality, which means you should go with the Next Level 3600, uh, the Bella Canvas 3001, uh, or the American Apparel 2001 W, which is the better price point and it's not American made. Uh, so if any of those companies watching, I think y'all might want to give me a deal. I ain't got a deal yet, but y'all might want to come over and, 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 and hit me in my DMs because it goes down in the DMs. But nonetheless, this is about you guys getting perfect content. Uh, and that's what I suggest you do. Start small, three of every size, go up to 2X. And even now, I try to keep three 3Xs, three 4Xs in stock because some big people do come in. But again, if you don't have that stuff stocked up and you're just getting started, don't worry about actually having uh, those bigger sizes you can order. People will be patient enough to wait. But the key is making your business look good and being able to give them back to the customer same day, no delay. But if they have to wait a day or two, then they'll understand, you know, uh, sometimes you have the time constraints to go ahead and wait. And sometimes you don't. Another thing is you're going to have a tough time going to Michael's or AC Moore uh, and trying to find 3X, 2X, and 4X shirts if you ever needed them in a bind. Uh, so I just really suggest that you work your way up to having at least up to 4Xs in white and black. Now, let's say a custom order comes in and they need colors. Hey, white and black guarantee. You know, once you get your stock up there, I have white and blacks here. If you want a red or royal or navy or different color shirt, then they need to wait and take time to order those in. We can supply you with white and black shirts all day, every day, but I need a little bit of time to get your shirts in. I have to order them because you got a special color. And for the most part, especially if you have a home base, out of your house business, you do not want to worry about stocking up on red, royal, uh, navy, orange, you know, purple. All of those colors will just start to pile up in your house and pile up in the corner or pile up in the drawer or wherever you're going to keep them at. And you really just don't want to have that problem or that issue. The only reason I think anybody should stock up on a color in a home business is if you're targeting a direct school or something that needs that color all the time and you're getting a lot of orders. Take the first couple of orders, place the order, and if they're going to keep continue to order, you have that sense or you know or they have, you know, ordered five, ten times. You can get those orders out faster. Then I would consider stocking a different color like, you know, my high school and my college are royal blue, so maybe I'll stock it up. We do a lot of stuff at another school that's navy and orange. So then we'll consider uh, keeping some of those in stock. But again, that is just up to your personal preference. But I think personally, especially just starting out, all you need to stock up on are white and black shirts. And people will be more than happy. Listen, if you have not watched the series on the vinyl colors you should have for your heat press business, I'm going to link it up down in the descriptions. But if you have all of those colors, right? You can put those colors on the shirt to make it match or do whatever it needs to do. So that is my suggestion to you guys. Don't get caught up in stocking all these different color shirts. Keep it simple. Keep it basic. And we're going to rock out, move forward with adding colors to the shirts instead of adding actual shirts to our business. So now I got a question for you guys. What inventory do you stock? How many do you stock? What colors do you stock? What brand do you stock? Let us know down in the comments below because we can just bounce off some ideas. And, you know, maybe what I say is not always the best option for you guys. So let us know what things you consider and all of that information down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. This has been your boy Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace. Okay, so we're at the T-Shirt Salsa website, and I'm going to show you guys how to request an actual video. So I'm just going to go to Menu, I'm going to go to Resources, and then here's Cut Settings, uh, Stay and Suggested Heat Presses, and then Video Request. Okay, here it basically just says, I'm not going to promise you that I'll get to everybody, but whenever I'm looking for an idea or something to make a video on, I will check this page and see what you guys have. This is a lot better than leaving it in the comments, although you can leave it in the comments and I'll see it. Uh, but uh, if I don't get to that video right away, I'll forget about it. But come over here and 
place your suggestions. So now I can just come to this list and pull up uh, some videos, ideas, and then go ahead and go through them. So you just put your name, your email, and you leave a comment uh, with your suggestion, and then it'll get posted, and I'll see it. Everybody will see it, and check the list for your idea first, and then 